Yes, I am, sir. I like this job that I get and I am your teacher for today's lesson. Our lesson for today is about solving word problems involving polynomial equations. In solving word problems involving polynomial equations, there are certain concepts to remember. These concepts are the fundamental concept of algebra, rational roots theorem, and the factor theorem. The fundamental theorem of algebra states that if p of x is a polynomial equation of degree n and with real coefficients, then it has at most n real roots. Rational roots theorem states that if a rational number p over q in lowest terms is a root of a polynomial equation, then p is a factor of a sub o and q is a factor of a sub n. Factor theorem states that the polynomial p of x has x minus r as a factor if and only if p of r is equal to zero. These three should go hand in hand when solving word problems involving polynomial equations. Let us take this example. Find k so that x plus 3 is a factor of p of x is equal to x cubed minus 2x squared minus kx plus 12. Now we will solve for the value of k by substituting the value of negative 3 to our equation. We know that by factor theorem, if x plus 3 is a factor, then p of negative 3 should become 0. So it will become p of negative 3 is equal to negative 3 cubed minus 2 times negative 3 squared minus k times negative 3 plus 12. So the answer or the value of k is equal to 11. Another example. Find the value of k for which x cubed minus 2x squared minus 4x minus k has a remainder of negative 7 when divided by x minus 1. In this problem, it is being indicated that there is a remainder. So therefore, we will not equate the equation into 0 because there is a remainder of negative 7. So instead of having 0, as being equated, we will equate this into negative 7 and then proceed by substituting positive 1 to our equation. And by solving, we can say that the value of k is 2. So let us now try answering word problems involving geometrical shapes. The area of a triangle is 44 meters squared. Find the lengths of the legs if one of the legs is 3 meters longer than the other leg. In this problem, we must first recall the formula for the area of a triangle. The area of a triangle is equal to 1 half base times height. So in order for us to solve this word problem, we must know first what are the variables. First, we are given by the area of the triangle, which is 44 meters squared. What's missing are the legs. But we are being given by the hint that the leg is 3 meters longer than the other leg. So let x be the other leg. And let x plus 3 be the longer leg. In our solutions, we found out that there are two roots, which are negative 11 and positive 8. So since we are dealing with meters, or shall we say, shall we say measurements, we can only take the positive values because there are no negative values when it comes to measurements. So we will take x is equal to 8. Since our x is equal to 8, we will just substitute it to our variable. Since the longer leg is equal to x plus 3 and our x is equal to 8, then it will become 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. So we have now our values of our legs, which are 
8 meters and 11 meters. And by checking, 8 times 11 is equal to 88 divided by 2, it will become 44. So our answer is correct. So students, thank you for listening and I hope that you have learned something from this video.